Greetings, foolish mortals. Tis I, Cat, here to properly finish fucking Bayonetta. <laughs> Whoa, hold on. Sentence structure. To finish Bayonetta. Less offensive. Greetings. How is everyone this Saturday? Which is apparently the Saturday of Comic-Con. So, I wouldn't be shocked if so many people are not watching my stream because they're going to San Diego Comic-Con. Geo's there right now and keeps sending me pictures of Kingdom Hearts merch I want! Ah! Ah! Dad! So sad! Anyway, yes, today is, um, hold on, let me get this stupid button ready. Yes, today is also my streamiversary! <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Gonna be fairly honest with you folks. I forgot today is technically my... Um, I forgot today is my stream anniversary. I'm gonna be a hundred percent honest with y'all. I didn't know it was until I opened up freaking um Twitch and it's like your stream anniversary is today. I'm like, uh, okay, whatever. I don't, I don't celebrate it because I forget when it was. I'm gonna be honest with you, Chief. Usually I just turn my birthday into also my stream anniversary because that's the day I debuted as a little bad. It's okay, Twitch fella. But, um, yeah. Uh, Core is somewhere in the ether. Again, where is she? She's somewhere. Anyway. Um. I had a thought. I lost my thought. It's over there. Oh, yeah. If you're wondering, there's Core. Hi, Core. Hello. You look lovely in your bucket. Thank you. <laughs> I like how you sink when you talk. It's not a lot, but I notice it when it's when you're in big mode. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even realize it did that, but I'm so happy it does. I don't know why. It's just like one of those little things. I don't notice it when you're tiny, but when you're this bit size, you it's noticeable. Anyway, uh, Twitch. Also, Cord, you know what today is? Your stream anniversary. Yes. And guess, and guess who forgot? You. <laughs> yeah. I knew I started streaming on Twitch in July. I just couldn't remember when in July. It was 2020. That year is very weird. <laughs> just on the tail end of July. Yeah, it's on the tail end of July. It's not near the 4th. It's not near anything important. It's like the tail end of July. Like, <laughs> that's when I was like, that's it. I'm taking up streaming. <laughs> anyway, so the plan is I have a plan. It's a great plan. It's a good plan. We're going to try to finish Bayonetta. And if you haven't noticed, we have a straw poll up right now. Points to the pinned message. You guys get to pick what game I get to play next. Because Kat is suffering from decision-making paralysis and is making others do it for her. Yay. Or, what? No get over it? I don't own that game. And I don't want to own it. Do you have Humble Bundle? I don't want it. <laughs> if you're subscribed to Humble Bundle, you can get it for free. Yes, I know many friends of mine have Humble Bundles, and they keep threatening to use that on me. You know, I, it's ZRM free, so any one of us can just send it to you. I know. Please don't. <laughs> I love myself. I don't play games to get mad. Oh, you just want to see me do it because I he headbutt everything into getting it to... Submit. No, I just want to see how far you get before you throw your controller. I have I am bread. Is that good enough for you? Oh, that might, that might do. Yeah, but I didn't put that on the list. We'll put it on the list then. I'm not putting it on the list. The poll has already been made. The poll was made. But... <sighs> Why not? Because the poll has already made and I'm not making another one. Besides, there's a bunch of games on there already. See? Look! Spensa notices Rhea! It's a wonderful, chill, relaxing puzzle game about the environment. That I will definitely bash my head against. <laughs> oh, it's so calm, so peaceful. Meanwhile, cat. Why does square hole why does why does square peg not go in round hole? <laughs> I'm not that bad. It's more like, what am I doing fucking wrong? I did everything to the T. Or would you like to read the list? While I drink this coffee to caffeinate my brain hole? Brain hole? Brain cell? Let's see here. There is. You're talking to a very uncaffeinated girl right now, so... 
Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm not doing well myself. All right. So what we have are Chrono Trigger, Fairy Legends of Avalon. What? I think Mass Effect put fairy tale and based around the King Arthur legend and, and you know, fairies and shit. Oh, it's got incest in it then. All right, let's Minus go. the incest. <laughs> Murder Soul Suspect. Final Fantasy VI. Hello, Brad. Final, Fan Final Fantasy XV. Jump Force. I think I want Jump Force, actually. Why do you want Jump Force? You want to see me play a fighting game. Yes. Catherine. I don't know that game. That's a puzzle game, which has some slight sexual undertones, but it's Twitch-friendly. I checked. Marvel Midnight Suns. Which I don't know what it is. I got it for free. <laughs> Someone Bruce. gave it to me a copy. I'm like, fuck it. I'll put it on my list. And uh, this last one is basically just a statement that Cat has to finish Hades. <laughs> it's a good statement, right? So which one are you voting for, Core? Or are you keeping your votes to yourself? Oh, I voted I voted Jump Force. You want to see me play a fighting game? Maybe. You're lucky I didn't put the Injustice games on there. I made the rule that it has to have a game that does not have a sequel that I have in my library. And so far, there is a one-vote tie between, like, what is that, fucking eight of them? Five of them? Two, wow. Two, four, six, seven. All of them have one-vote ties. Y'all are horrible! I knew I should have done the bracket system. You know, I do a bracket system. These two versus these two. These two. These two, these two. You, you, you get the bracket system. At this rate, I'm going to have to do a bracket system. How many games did I put on that list? Ten? Yeah, a bracket system would have worked. Core, you're staring at me. No, I'm just over here eating yogurt. Ooh, what flavor? Vanilla. Ah, basic. Not basic, not basic. Vanilla's not a basic flavor. <laughs> Leo yeeted a picture at core. I, I saw it. Also, don't and blame is me. That the, is that the signature of who I think it is? Is it God? Did God sign something? No. No. Oh! God doesn't go to Comic-Con. Oh, speaking of Comic-Con! So, oh my god, that is? Holy shit, Leo, treasure that like fucking gold. What is it? All right. Uh Leo, is it okay if I if that picture gets shared with Cat? You can just tell me who autographed it. That's the part I'm curious about. Uh the Blue Ranger. Hey. <gasps> my Blue Ranger friend. Ah, Billy. I love Re Billy. Yep, it was signed by the actor for Billy. Hold on, I'll go to go ahead and put this in secret Makes me text sad. Around. I think my mom has some stuff signed by uh, the Green Ranger, Jason David Frank, but still. Anyway. But yeah, check that out. So, there's a new video game coming out soon, and I want it. It's called Date Everything. Basically, household objects become humanized, and you can date them. There are a shit ton of top voice actors in this indie project. Woohoo! I get to fuck a vacuum cleaner! You joke about that! But that's being voiced by Xeno, who's, you know, if you play watch my hero, Hawks. And I know that, like, a good percentage Give of it. Final Fantasy XV voice actors are gonna be in it. And, you know, they're slowly announcing who's playing what. And I made a joke going, Matt Mercer as D&D &D Dice! <laughs> and someone's like, I would. <laughs> I can't wait for the vacuum to give you the big suck. Yeah. There's, um... There's also a rubber ducky, and she's punk and angry, and I love her. <laughs> but, but, like, in, but in the it, but in the moment of coitus, does she squawk? Does she squeak? Does she? It's a <laughs> it's a funny dating sim. I don't think there's going to actually be smet scenes. Smet scenes. That's a shame. I know that like it's basically and like some of the designs are really good. My bisexual heart goes a flutter looking at all of these people. I'm just saying I'm gonna be like I don't know who I'm going to boink first. <laughs> or what? What? They're all up. They're all objects. Or what are you gonna fuck? Ah ha 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 ha! I know Pro Z is in it, which makes me really happy because if no one remembers the Pro Z uh harem anime, but the ob but the uh. But all those suitors are objects skit he did back in his days of Vine. I feel old remembering that. I was like, please have Prozette in this. Please have Prozette in it. Prozette's in it. Yes! Anyway. 
I don't know why I feel like that's appropriate. Anyway, so enough talking about uh, dating sims that I'm going to definitely be play buying and playing and seeing if maybe I should do a Twitch stream with it. Shifty eyes, shifty eyes. Shifty eyes, shifty eyes. Um, also, don't forget, uh, SAG, uh, the SAG voice actors, get, voice actors are currently striking, by the way. Um, good news, the indie project in question is following the SAG rules. And also, good news, I can play video games. That was a major concern of mine when the, when the strike got announced. I'm like, what? There's a strike happening. Did we not learn from the writer's strike? Apparently not. Oh, no. Fuck voice actors. Don't you know that? We use AI now. Fuck you. No, but um, I actually went to the official SAG site and it was like, okay, streamers and content creators, y'all are good. You can play video games. Just remember to talk about the thing. I talked about the thing, okay? I talked about the thing. I did my good noodle point. Um, so anyway, we're going to continue with Bayonetta. Or is going to cheer me on in the cheerleader costume. The cheerleader. I lost it. Uh, no, the bucket's the cheerleader costume. Oh, sweetness. I didn't lose it. Um, hold on. I have to turn my phone on because I forgot to do that. And set it up to read the Twitch chat while they yell at me. Perfecto. Tell me how much of a gamer I suck as. Perfection. I'm perfection? How am I perfection? As everything should be. Balanced. Nothing is ever balanced. You know this. Anyway, are you guys ready for me to try to do the fucking see the fucking level again and scream in Dutch? Sure. Let's see you learn a second language just to be angry. I mean, I learned German for a second language. I, I swear in German. Frequently. Hey, check this out. What, what are you, are you buying? buying? <laughs> You know what annoys me about this game? Okay, a few things annoy me about this game. But when it opens up, it does the Sega thing. But it, when I see the Sega, I immediately think of the Sega. It's not that, and, my, and I get sad. Sega. I love that. I'm not gonna scream in Dutch. I don't know Dutch. I know German. Then why'd you say it? Oh no. The streamer. The streamer man lies. Well, first of all, Punishment. I'm not. Okay, first of all, not a man. Yeah, Miss Streamer Man. That's why I put Miss at the, at the start instead of Mr. Streamer Man. Miss Streamer Woman. There's too many syllables in there. Miss Streamer Man sounds a lot better. Anyway. Okay, that's that, that's that. Oh, we're in the we're in the Star Fox level. Yeah, the part that I fucking failed at. I forgot to hold on. Hold on. <laughs> I need to fix something. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Ah, oh, yes, already going off to a great start. Where is the fucking vibrations, controls? Oh, vibrations, you crank that shit up. No. no. How do I turn the fucking inverted off? You don't. That's the fun. Off. 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 Oh boy, howdy. I can't wait for this to to fuck you. It's not gonna fuck me. I fucking hate inverted. You can't make me invert. Oh, it's still inverted! Yep, I knew it. That didn't say controls invert. Hate inverted! Because this doesn't work! Okay, autistics don't do well with inverted! Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, I could stream this to you so you can react to it live. You could, but that means taking your hands off the controls. Blech. Why isn't witch time activating? Or can you do me a little favor and tell me what button is which time? Cause uh, it's been a whole week, I haven't played this game. Apparently I forgot oh. all the controls. They gave, they flashed you the controls earlier. I mean, just go ahead and die for it. I'm not gonna die. I would murder! Also, I don't know why I said for <laughs> I think I've been watching a bit too much of other streamers because that's immediately what they say. I mean, a lot of streamers say that. I used to for a long time when I would switch machines, I would go, ba -da. Heaven forbid I hear a fucking Coke can <laughs> open up. Ah! Ah Bless you. Thank you, Cord. You're, You're very welcome. Whoever thought of inverted controls should die! They're hair pink. Uh, the fucking commit, commit to the bit. I would love to commit to the bit, but we're on Twitch. And they'll think I'm actually trying to death threat a person. The, the, the person's probably dead, because I think they made Afterburner. And also the controls to a... Well, no, 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 no. I think you would probably be playing... Uh, blaming the first person to ever invent a, uh, a, a an airplane. So you're you're threatening the Wright brothers for their control of how airplanes work. Oh, it's a soda can. Fuck yeah, dude! Grip it and rip it, baby. Slurp that shit down. What's that big dog hunt? What are you drinking? What are you slurping? I haven't even watched tag streams in a while, and I can do tag things. Main reason why is because he keeps playing Death Stranding. Guess what game I hate. <laughs> Like, okay, fetus aside, fetus aside, because we all know the yes, main reason yes, why I hate that game is fetuses. Yes, yes. What? Yeah, uh-huh. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. If my ex didn't think this ga that game was God's gift to the universe, you know, because he thinks Kojima is a god. Uh-huh. I think, if that... I think even if I didn't have the fetus problem, because my ex was such a huge fan of Death Stranding, I'm just like, no. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mind you, he's the one who got me into Yakuza, but yet I still love Yakuza. But then he's admitted I've never really played Yakuza, only the first one. I mean, I think even Tag has come out. Uh, I think even Tag has said during his stream, it's like, this isn't all Kojima. Death Stranding and, like, other games made by him are not all him. Oh, yeah, no. Like, Metal Gear and the like. Because other people were in the room, too, to help design the game and in the story. Oh! Just that Kojima got the bigger cut of the... Oh, that's a big person. Anyways. Can't wait for the... Yeah, not... Like... Why well, is like my a, witch time like activating? A good I mean, it's a good community event sort of game. What is, uh, Death Stranding? Yeah. Why isn't my fucking <laughs> witch time activating when I use it? Oh, well. That's weird. Oh, now it works. Oh, it only works for solid objects. It doesn't work for fucking laser beams. Get lasered. I will laser you. Stop running into it. Stop standing still. I'm not standing still. You. I, I saw you sit. Duck, dive, dodge, dip, dodge. The 
listen, the barrel roll abuse works. Or the arrow roll, whatever it is. Do the funky funny. roll. Come on! Do, 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 do. Man, it feels so good having a terabyte of hard drive space. Oh, it feels so amazing. You mean it? I have like two teras. I've only been functioning with like 750 this entire time. Why? Because that's what I started out with. And that was before uh, Microsoft had like really, really big fucking OS shit going on. Oh god. Yeah, if but, I, uh, when I do a rebuild on my computer, I'm gonna basically have, like, a really big hard drive. Guess what it's dedicated to? The OS! Yeah, the operating system. Which just seems to start eating away at the hard drive space over time. It's insanity! Like, I did a I did a fresh reinstall before actually moving everything over to the new hard drive. I... I went from having 10 gigabytes of free hard drive space to 32. So it's not my files, it's the operating system. Windows, get your shit together. I'm wondering if they're doing the, uh... Okay. So this is the thing about Team Fortress 2 when it comes to their, um, their game system. Because of how old it is, they never really, um, delete the old code when doing patches, they just replace it with new ones. So it's basically held together with duct tape and prayer, right? It, it does kind of feel like that, which, yeah. you know, makes me more and more to think, man, I could learn Linux. Oh, God, the only reason why I don't... I could, do... I could learn Linux. Everything would be fine. The only reason why I don't do Linux is because of my games, and Clip Studio Paint doesn't work with Linux, and I love Clip Studio Paint too much. And also, I really... Coding scares me. I'm going to be honest. I tried to learn coding when I was in tech class, and my teacher looked at me when they, when I was doing it, and they're like, you look traumatized. <laughs> I mean, I'm about to do coding, and if I fuck up, I'm going to somehow cause a massive damage. <laughs> I, I've, I've talked to coders, and evidently blue screening is a normal part of the coding experience. 99 bugs in the code, 99 bugs ago, take one out, patch it around, somehow I got 12 more bugs in the code! <laughs> One of my favorite joke, one of my favorite little things sung by one of the students while I was in tech school. Because he was like, he was there like longer than I was. You uh -huh. know, he was there before me. And he was already at the coding learning, because this is a tech school and it's learn as you go, right? Yeah. And he was learning coding and he would sing that frequently when he was coding something. <laughs> Did the husband or wife will redeem go off? I do not hear it. Uh, it did. It was Garrus. I didn't hear him talking about popping the heat sink. Damn. Uh, pro probably because you were going batshit crazy over this fucking level. This level is batshit crazy. Well, it is a platinum game. Fuck you. You are where the- Fuck me. I- What do you mean, fuck me? Uh, no, not, not, not fuck me, not fuck you, fuck me. I mean, fuck me, fuck me. Also, speaking of fuck me. Is there a fuck party? What's going on? <laughs> no, no, no. Speaking of fuck me, guess how, what Google's now recommending to me frequently? Food, sex, sleep, and war. Uh, Whatever you do, you should it always AI enjoy system? it to the Is it a shitty ass, like, secret Play Store game? <laughs> Dating apps. Oh, dating apps, all oh, that's great. Not even the good ones! I'm getting no, ones I, that I've never heard of. I would honestly just follow Plum's advice and just go up to an autism server and just wait. <laughs> I don't think I can attract someone like that on the autism server. You know how asocial I am. You're definitely not getting them on, like, Grinder or some shit like that. Hey, excuse me, I was on OkCupid, thank you very much. I was classy. Oh, I'm sorry. 
Listen, I've had the money, I'd use eHarmony. No, I wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. You, you wouldn't want to look at a mirror for the rest of your life. What do you mean? eHarmony, e when you want to date someone that looks oddly like you. Ew. Oh yeah, every time it happens, every time like the commercial pops up, go watch, go look at the eHarmony people and look at how similar they are together. Are you sure it's not E Alabama? Ba -da -ding, ding, 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 ding. It's like same nose, same same chin, same cheek. It's not. They're not like purely identical, but there are just some physical aspects where it's just like there's a common theme here. Yeah, it's called inbreeding. I don't even know if it's called inbreeding. It's more like genetic, like like genetic manipulation. It's like what you do to dogs. It's eugenics. Oh god, no, not eugenics. Don't even bring that word up around me. Fuck that shit. We know, Core. You can't bring it around me either because, you know, I would have been eugenics out of the system because of autism and anxiety. Yeah, I would have too because I'm Irish. Oh yeah, that too! How do they feel about the French? Oh, uh, they don't like them. Yeah. Well, but I'm also part German. If you're, so not, like... if you're not British and white, you're you're gone. You're you're gone under the eugenics system. You're You're feeding the machines. Hey, you feed the machines. Remind the slaves. Remember, everybody, if somebody tries talking to you and says eugenics sounds like a good idea, run or punch them in the face, whichever. Punch them in the dick. Give them a good old dick twist. Just grab, twist, and pull, baby. This is the weirdest conversation we've had while playing this game. Grip it and rip it, baby! Grip it! <laughs> Use his balls like a Beyblade! <laughs> let it rip! Beyblade! 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 Let it rip! I'm about to fucking die because I keep laughing and it's fucking up my <laughs> Fall! Fall! Die, you big faced wiener! Spaghetti ass looking fucking flailing phalanges, little fuck boy. Leave salad fingers out of this. I don't want salad fingers in this. I don't want salad fingers anywhere around this. You know what? Someone pointed out, and it's a really interesting. I watched this video because it was talking about Foamy the Squirrel. Go okay. with me on this thought process. Yep, alright, alright. They were talking all right, about right. how, like, there is nothing really. Foamy the Squirrel and Salad Fingers and Happy Tree Friends, where it's like, it's not adult explicit and it's not, you know, it's between adult explicit and family friendly. You know, the edgy teen humor, if you will. It's not really uh -huh. a thing on the internet anymore. And then I sit yep, here nope. going, isn't that technically me? Well, I'm not teen humor, but you get my point, right? Yeah. I'm the dark, edgy humor. I'm not adult, I'm definitely not family friendly. Don't I mean, would say we're probably fam we're probably adult. We're like, oh, what? I mean, there's. Um, we're not Rick and Morty levels, but like we're we're around that area. Maybe we're solar opposites. Maybe solar opposites. I love how you're using so many different pieces of media that I have no clue what you're talking about because I don't watch Rick and Morty like shows. Fun fact. I don't like Rick and Morty. I fucking hate it, and I love, and I really hated the fandom for a while. You want to know why? Because everybody treated Rick Sanchez like he was a fucking karate, like he was a fucking like deity. Well, not just that. I said I'm not the biggest fan, and and this was on Twitter before I became a streamer and everything. And someone goes on your page going, "It says you're autistic. Why do you not like Rick and Morty? It's made by an autistic guy." That doesn't immediately, immediately mean. <laughs> That he's okay. N nothing about that. No. Or you know what to do. Rock the gun. Rock the gun. Rock the gun. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Get shouted out, nerd. Playing Skies of Arcadia. I heard that's a really awesome RPG. Oh yeah, too bad I don't own it, because then I would be playing it. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna play Skies of Arcadia anytime soon. By the way, Nero, we have my list of what future hells I'm gonna go through after I finish Bayonetta. Die, die, die! Die! Fall! Fall! 
Man, this is reminding me of a scene from Transformers. Which one? You already voted for Hades. Ah! I did it! What am I going up Good. against next? I am God! Worship hey, me! Hey, should I hit the snooze button? Nah, uh, yeah. But, uh... Alright, I'll wait, I'll wait at, like, the last second. That way we get a free minute. Yeah. Titties! Or I fuck up and, you know, I get yelled at. Either way, it's funny. Look at this beautiful city! Hold on, I'm pausing just so Core can actually see the shit. <laughs> Hold on, we're no longer playing Use the Boost to get through time, okay? Hold on, give me a second. Yay! I can finally see! It's a miracle! Aw, look at that little uh, emote of a... Uh, uh, fuck, what's his name? What's her name? Their name. Fuck, 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 fuck! A shark dragon. Oh, welcome to Rapture. <laughs> oh, look, the women are fighting again. Spicy, thank you. Spicy Bara. Or are you are you taking notes? There will be a quiz. Or. Oh god, Gore died. I, I'm I'm get I'm trying to do a meme off. Island of wealth and power. Listen, I have in the freaking background artwork of John and Bayonetta John, doing things. If you've made it this far, that <laughs> I'd like them to fight more with oil. God damn. Listen, they are less they are lesbians with each other and you can't convince me otherwise. They are in love with each other. Friend of my enemy is also <laughs> my enemy. Cheshire is my Cheshire is a beard. Sage. <laughs> the Lumen Sages. Luca is a beard. They were our counterbalance as overseers. Remember, there are notes. We will be taking a quiz later. Core. Remember to take No, notes. don't there fucking ask me to take I have ADHD. This is a hate crime. <laughs> I have autism and ADHD. This is also a hate crime. Dark would bring calamity to this earth. Remember? What, having both at the same time? Yeah, yeah. I would say so. <laughs> An anxiety and depression. Ask how that goes in my brain. <laughs> I, I, I've seen what both ADHD and autism does to a person. My poor, my poor beloved suffer so much. Enters into a room talking about a hyperfixation. Stops. Look at, looks at me. What was I talking about? Have that way too many Say your hyperfixation. Oh shit! What was I talking talking about? Oh, I don't fucking remember. Hey, look! It's the moon. The moon! It calls to me. God, get out! It, no, no. We're it speaks for my essence. Oh! You to continue to exist is a danger that cannot be accepted. Just kiss already. <laughs> Can y'all just hear me yelling that in the distance? The yes, yes, I'm right. are within our grasp. The power of creation will be awakened. See, this is a metaphor. That's why the left eye, our treasured left eye, will never fall into the hands of another. By the way, if I finish this game early, Corey, do you want to lo load up some deep rock or do you want to load up? Oh, actually, no. I know a game we can the play up. I know a game we can play up if I finish Bayonetta early enough. Will never fall it has co op. Hands of another. Ooh, what's this? Bayonetta. I'm not saying until we get to it. To end, that you are brought to an end. Zip lock, throw away the you, key. You did it. It is our charge as witches to protect the treasures of the clan by any means necessary. Just even make if out. Means burning Just every kiss. inch of this island to Just a crisp. Yes! Hi, Luca. That's a damn good shot. I'm impressed. I'm really beginning to hate missiles. Shut up, Sasuke Uchiha. You know, I have no idea what the hell you girls got going on here. But you don't mind if I take this off your hands, do you? Get in, Sinisita. Mommy. Yoink the child. <laughs> At least you're not yeeting the child. <laughs> yeah, you know, which is, you know, my personal opinion. Don't yeet the child! I will explain why later. 
I know she's some cataclysmic world ending event. I get it. I know. Now kiss. I just hate children in, in media. Those two were staring at each other's lips and they were Did about they to just kiss. explode? Bayonetta. Time is of the essence. This can wait no longer. I have to fight her again. Please don't make me fight her again. Please don't make me fight her again. Ah! Hey, uh, Kat, guess what you have to do? Oh my god, is she trying to step on you? On Twitch, of all places? I'm also trying to step on her. She even got, like, the lip target on her. Like, the game is just saying it. No, they're just best friends, roommates, anything but lovers! Cause history hates lovers. Wow, her comments are cutting deep. Wow. Getting stepped on? Live on Twitch? You don't say. The Tower of Infinite Missiles. Yeah! Just fuck each other already! She's blowing her payload throughout the entire fight. No, I will not stop. Listen, oh, we've no. been doing the lesbian job. No, we've been doing the- up so you can never truly bite down. Until we meet again! Uh, okay, Skeletor. Wait till Ginger comes in. Stop hurting me, bitch! We're supposed to be lovers! You know, this was not the type of roughhousing I thought we'd be doing. <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Who summoned the giant spider? She did. Die, 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 die! Fucking hell. Dodge, sweetie, dodge! Why? I love how you can play a game like this and be like, no, nah, I can I can beat a game like this, no problem. If you look at Dark Souls, I will never succeed in life. <laughs> Are you trying to make fun of me and how hypocritical I am because I don't play Dark Souls games yet, I play Bayonetta? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Even though I'm not good yes, at I it? Am. I can tell you one thing, you could probably be a lot better in Dark Souls. I'm doing a lot better in Elden Ring if you want to be perfectly honest. After It's the same game engine! Just, just play Dark Souls. Don't play Dark Souls two or three, because two like gets weird, and three, and three has like a bullshit the gatekeeping boss right at the start. First boss you ever fight in Dark Souls is like, oh, this is what you're gonna be fighting for the rest of the game. Bitch. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he, he just great. Elden Ring is also. Great. I'm gonna be. You In a moment, though. Okay.
Punch, kick, punch, punch, kick, punch. All I do is murder! Thank you, Craig. She is also a witch. No fucking dog, but still. right now. Uh, why did they design a building after Domino's? Oh no! We start all the way back here again? Oh, that's unfair. glowing vagina.
What am I doing wrong? 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 <sighs> I wish I had a hot dr theory I'm testing. And if I have to start all over again, I will. I do not care. Oh, wait. You bring me yeah, yeah, yeah. Hot shot more than I needed that other thing, but fuck it. My own inability to fight things.
Yeah, I know. I fully restarted the level again. I just needed to. Back again at the Krispy Kreme, I see. I'd like to point out that I hit the freaking start the level over thing, forgetting that this part was a part of it. Oh, you fucked up. Shut up. You dumb did it did a fucked up. Well, at least you're getting better at it. Yay! You were saying, Claude. At least you're getting better at it. The shadow does indeed remain cast. I'm going to yeet core into the sun. What? What the fuck did I do? I don't know, but you need to go to the sun. You need vitamin D. I have vitamin D all the time. Don't fucking start with me. Bot is gonna be hilarious. It's gonna be called Cat Can't Fucking Video Game! Her whole life's a sham! Her whole life is spam. Spam, 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 if it'll be found out I'm a Kryptonian in uh, Aqua, <laughs> or, or else you might not have a son anymore. Imagine for a Kryptonian. This is how we find Great. out the. I, I get hunted by a bald bitch. Get harassed by that motherfucker every goddamn day. Are you freaking talking about Superwoman, Supergirl? Bald bitch. No. No, Supergirl! Does not Supergirl have a bald? Oh no, I'm Lex Luthor. Hey, cat, use your brain cell. Which I'm is... shaking you! I'm shaking you! Stop shaking me. Stop shaking me! I'm in the middle of flying a missile! Did 
good court to you? Well, the transcript says, well, at least you're getting better at it. All right, fine, I'll stop being supportive then. <laughs> Wait, Lex Luthor isn't bald right now? Well, teenage Lex Luthor isn't, but uh, adult Lex Luthor is, and we all know that little troglodyte's gonna be a cue ball in the future at some point. Why won't you die? Also, My Adventures with Superman, love that show. Mm. Just gifts, 10 out of 10. A He's a ginger. Know. He's evil, honey. He's evil. You say that ginger's evil? Ginger, you have the right to use the battering ram. No, that's for... That's for Snooze Snooze. You don't use the battering ram in public. One day, the doctor's going to be a ginger and the world will celebrate. Right now, he's just a very flamboyant black man and boy, god damn, is he hot! We know! We know! God! They picked such a good actor! They picked such a good- Oh! I love him! Get them, mummy! Get them! I'm trying, child! Didn't he have some disorder in Smallville that caused him falling? I don't know. I never watched Smallville. Did I just, really? I've just been watching my... No, I've been watching Gummy Bears. I don't watch... I I have such a... I, I have such a thing against, like, real... Real meat space shows. Because, like, I just like cartoons. I'm not going to lie. I just like cartoons. <laughs> oh, yeah, cartoons. Oh, it's just a minor, minor issue with Parasite's origin. Yeah, but just like it, the the show in general is just so well animated. It's so good. It's it did the one thing that a lot of Superman TV shows suffer a lot with, and that is make Clark vulnerable. Let the man have emojis. Make, no, not not just that. Make it so he looks like he'll lose a battle. Because we all know Superman as the dude who can pull planets just by himself. He can tow entire solar systems if he wants. He can break a planet apart with his bare fist. How do you make someone like that look like they're going to lose? He has so many bullshit powers at his disposal that it just it's just become so problematic to make him feel vulnerable. But this new show is like, no, he's got a, it's, it's a tier system. He has to unlock this shit. And yeah, he's very capable of dying. Brainiac nearly killed him at one point. Brainiac nearly won against Superman because he just nearly took over his, his body. Will you die faster? Just, oh shit, you're right. Oh fuck, uh, uh, uh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gushing so much about the show. I'm very sorry. Spoilers! Yes, I got that! I don't want to know that Bruce Willis is the ghost! Anyways, uh, in, in like the first season, he's he's fighting, or no, the first episode, he's fighting against robots. He's getting the shit kicked out of him. And like, when that started to happen, I was like, oh, this is baby Clark. This is Clark before he gets big. Come on, just a few more shots and he's dead. Woohoo! Give me health, please. Thank you. Like, this, this has been... My Adventures with Superman has been the first ever... Has been the first cartoon in a long while to actively make Superman like relatable. Hashtag relatable. And the way they did it was that he, they just made him a big Labrador. They just made him a golden, golden Labrador. If I keep dodging, no one can hurt me. 
They just looked at Clark and went, what if we just gave him bottom energy? And it works! Yeah, Golden Labrador Retriever. They just gave him that sort of energy. Is it Golden Labrador Retriever or just Golden Retriever? Fun fact, that's a re fun fact that Tombstone is a Devil May Cry reference. Oh, fun. Why is Hang the on. child on top of the freaking bomb? Top of the freaking missiles! <laughs> Why is small child on a missile? Small child should question. not be on a missile! But why not? Hi, Ginger! Why is the Ginger on a missile? It? Because bitches love missiles? No, bitches love cannons! What comes out of a cannon? And what comes out of a cannon? <laughs> Cannonballs. Lasers. Not just missiles! Oh, but you admit that they do fire missiles. I will admit that they do fire missiles, but they don't just fire missiles. Ah, so guess what? They fire missiles. There goes. There go the pencil stands. Uh, Why is small child on a missile? Because she's recreating you. the ending to Doctor Strange. Love. And how I learned to love the bomb. <laughs> Remember that movie was originally going to end with a pie fight, but they thought that was too silly. When it was- but Yeah, no, if you haven't watched uh, My Adventures with Superman, highly, highly recommend, go watch it now. Welcome, it. welcome to- Well, Lord. actually not now, watch watch the rest of the cat stream, but like afterwards, go watch My Adventures with Superman. Hashtag not sponsor. Hashtag. hashtag, hashtag give me money DC. Hashtag, if you give me money for DC, can you please let Raven be in a happy relationship for once in her damn life? No, suffer. No, 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 no! I'm like, okay, Raven and Beast Warrior together again, yeah! And then they're like, oh, now they're having a couple spy. I'm like, is no one allowed to be happy? I agree there, PGL. Doom Patrol is really good, but it is it has the unfortunate uh, disease of being on HBO Max. Hey, wait, I don't have HBO Max right now. Never mind. Yeah, that is, yeah, that is. I'm had to get rid of it. Did I show the autograph? I did. I put it in Secret Text Channel, but I think Kat has been basically uh, too busy slamming her head against this wall called Bayonetta. Fuck off! What? It's that slamming? Hey, hi hey, honey. Hey, honey. Our favorite Blue Ranger is in Secret Text Channel. Wearing pants. How fucked up do you think it would have been if one of the Power Rangers it's actors came out as trans and, like... Well, and by fucked up, I mean, like... Your favorite Blue... I thought the red one was ever one everybody loves. Rocky's an Please. ass! Wait, I'm sorry. It. I didn't watch the original original, so I can't remember which one... It, it, also, everybody don't come for me. I don't remember which one is Tommy. Is that... Tommy's Tommy the Oliver is the green, the green Ranger Ranger. slash white okay. ranger. Green Ranger slash white ranger, Mighty Morphing, red in Turbo, red in Zeo, black in Dino Thunder. Weirdly, I watched that, uh, I didn't watch that, but I watched Power Rangers in Space, but I don't really remember the characters, I just remember... Oh, what's, space. what's hilarious is, um, my D&D group, so, my DM is also a huge Power Rangers fan, and she was talking about how crazy Power Rangers Lost Galaxy is, because the opening is just, everyone dies, everyone kills everyone. Mm -hmm. Yep. And, like... And I even pointed this out because she didn't think about it, but I go, you know, technically Galaxy has the mo has the highest kill count when it comes to Power Rangers. Think about it. it. They, they lost a Ranger. No, they not they didn't lose one Ranger. They've lost three. Oh. Okay, so the first one is the Red Ranger's older brother who was originally going to be the Red Ranger. He died, and then he becomes the Phantom, whatever his name is. Right. Then they lost the Pink Ranger via death. And then they lost the Red Ranger because he sacrifices himself to save the freak to save Terra Sephiria in the season finale. So, no, it's calling our planet 
is falling. Yes, I know this is light speed. I also really like Mystic Force, even though I know that was like um, way later. Light speed rescue. Uh, Power Rangers do, 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 light do, speed. Do, 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 do. I Power Rangers trying. light speed rescue. Power Rangers light speed rescue. What is the one? It it might be RPG or whatever it is that it's um <laughs> the. The pink one's the girl. The blue one, something. What yep, are that's you? Our, that's our. I'm Scottish. I'm Scottish. I can't believe I have that in the. I have that as a sound, the soundboard of my D and D group because I'm currently playing Gama, who is basically Scottish accent. I'm Scottish. <laughs> and we made a joke. And someone made it. And we made when the DM and I was making her. We were making a joke like, so what is she? I go Scottish. <laughs> RPM. That's the one. I think that's the. Name. Yeah, I'm gonna watch that, but I saw a clip from that, another clip from that recently, and I was like, oh, maybe I slept on this show. RPM! Um, Rangers, RPM! RPM yeah. is set in the kid friendly apocalypse! <laughs> Where <laughs> everyone's dead! And there's only a small city that's left alive, and there's also child soldiers! And we're not we're talking we... about the Rangers for once! Dude, we were talking about, what was it, Lost in Space uh, being the one with the highest body count? Fucking um, RPM comes out of the ring and going, everyone's dead. Except no, this small little zone. Except, no, uh, Lightspeed Rain, Lightspeed Rain, uh, not Lightspeed Rescue, Lost Galaxy. But yeah, but Lost we're Galaxy, I'm talking yes. about on-screen kills of rangers and people, people. Because, like, Terra Superior, like, a good percentage of that place gets destroyed by the villain when she basically becomes that weird praying mantis lady. The goo. Because of the goo. The, the goo bug. And I do love Lightspeed Rescue, because it's like, so what are the villains afraid of? What are the villains weak against? Water. What? Okay. Okay. <laughs> eh? Like, water! And they go, okay, are they attacking somewhere inland, like Arizona? No, we're attacking a coastal city. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, so, so let me get this straight. <laughs> Which, trust the... me, it's very hard for me to do. Yeah. Aha! <laughs> Rainbow joke. Thank you, I'm glad you like it. But let me get this straight. Where's Nam? <laughs> anyway, proceed. Proceed with the commentary. Nice cock. N the other commentary about the... So you're a bunch of demons. Yeah. Demonic entities, if you will, who are weak against water and you've decided to attack a planet that not only is 75% of it, but instead of attacking somewhere inland where there is no water, like Arizona, Utah, I could keep naming places, the Sahara, you decide to attack a coastal city called Angel Grove. Or Angel, whatever it was. And, yep. I, I, wonder if, I wonder if this inspired signs. Signs came first. Oh, I wonder if this was inspired by signs. <laughs> That's better. Yeah, it is like the science aliens all over again. I'm like, okay, listen, if you want to attack Earth, which I'm okay with that idea. I don't mind that aliens are weak towards water and you're attacking Earth. But could you be a little bit smarter? If you're going to attack Earth, which I'm totally fine with, by the way. Which I'm totally fine with, by the way. Can you attack, like, the Sahara or Arizona, Goblin Valley, Utah, Death Valley. You want me to keep... Nirvana? Goblin what? Goblin Valley, Utah. You Goblin Valleys over there? Hey, yo. Hey, yo. No, yeah, there's a place in uh, Utah called Goblin Valley. That's where they uh, filmed Galaxy Quest on the for the alien planet scenes, and it's actually used, I think, in a couple of Star, Star Trek episodes. You're welcome for my fun fact. If Goblin Fire was here, Fire would enjoy that. Nice yeah, Super Sentai does predate science, but you also have to remember American dubbing. American dubbing, like, takes, like, I think, like, two seasons, two past is behind by, like, Two seasons? When it comes to the dubification, because they basically want to change their whole plot and just use the fighting techniques. Hi, this is Cat. I know way too much about Power Rangers and I don't know how I feel about it. And let's not get started about here the Here come comics. the Power Rangers. Here come the Power Rangers. Here come the Power Rangers. Alright, let's go ahead and turn it on. 
set the record straight. Don't know where from right from wrong. I'm butchering this entire fucking song. Go this back to singing going Gamera. on. Yes, it is. No. Da, 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 da. Anyways, we're in an ad break. Who gives a shit? No, I was about to say, who gives a shit? We're in an ad break. Clark can start singing Gamera's really neat Gamera's. If you think PGL, Leo, or Alpha Fox is gonna tell me. He's gonna tell me to leave it to the singers. Someone's gonna say, tell me to shut up and, and let professionals handle it. Um. I hate the one of jokes. Mention it. Talk, speaking of camera, I don't know which one it is. But there's one of the cameras that we have, or that we, we maybe got it from the library at some point. Um. And they had bloopers, quote-unquote bloopers, and it was, they gave Gamera a voice, and he was British, and it was hilarious. Oh, that was Legion. Oh my god, it was so funny. Oh, I'm due to, I'm very sorry. Oh, oh, so, excuse me, pardon. I don't, I don't mean to be a bother. Oh, 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 oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Wait, there was a joke? There was a dad Why joke. Why doesn't- Why doesn't he need the voice? I know what I'm doing! I know what I'm doing! Car, use Wait, the boost! Wait, Get yeah. Toasters were the first form of pop-up movie- I love it. I love it. I love it. Camera is really neat. Camera is made of meat. Made of meat. We love Camera. <laughs> I want there to be new Rebirth Gamera episodes. I want there to be more Gamera, Gamera on Netflix. Netflix, I know you hate, hate continuing series. Unless Continue it's Big this Mouth. one. Unless it's Big Mouth. Get rid of Big Mouth. Big Mouth is dying. Big Mouth was good after, after the first like two seasons. It's now gone downhill. Again. Just give us more. Like, just Personally, give us more it <laughs> Okay, all right, cool. That's great that you all feel that way. I, I really liked the show. I really liked that they were saying, okay, society's really fucked up about you know sexuality and all that. So here's how it actually should be, should be okay for you. Stares, stares angrily at one day at a time. Me. What? 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 One day at a time. One day at a time uh, was a one of their most popular shows, and they were like, "Sorry, not sorry, Gamera, we're canceling it." And oh, then yeah. they followed up with like, "We know everyone loves it, but we're still canceling it." Super Eight. Need I say? Was it Super Eight? What was it called? The one? And uh, not Super Eight. Uh, it, it's not the OC. It's uh, it has something to do with eight. The Super 8's a movie. Um... And also a Everyone the trouble- I'll save everyone the trouble of, like, trying to think up, uh... their own personal examples. Uh, Dark Crystal. Okay, thank you! I'm about to use that- But that's the low-hanging fruit! Everyone uses Dark Crystal! We're trying to use- No, it's not a low-hanging fruit! It's the RPG to take to anyone's stupid comments about how fuck- how fucking- Oh, Netflix is trying- it's trying its best. No, no. The Dark Crystal was a critically acclaimed series made by the Jim Henson Company, and they fucking blew. It. They fucking shot it down. They they killed the damn series. They could have sold it off. They could have sold it to Disney, who had all the other Jim Henson products. You know, Disney would have been fucking salivating. They, you know, they would have had a hard boner like knock the desk hard boner. Whoopsie shit. Or making a mess, no, proving their point. No, they did. They did it. They just went, oh, well, we're just gonna go ahead and, you know, shoot this puppy and puppy behind the shed sort of bullshit. I, I they hate had, that. They had their own way of solving that problem, but they didn't. They just fucked everyone over. So, that one particularly could probably be chalked up more than any of the others. The they had, they confirmed a season two. They were like, yeah, we're bringing it back. But then COVID happened and 
it's already an expensive show and all of the extra precautions and in that kind just of show you're gonna have people it. even closer together yeah. yeah that's what i think too yeah. just but, postpone like they had the ability to postpone it they had the ability to like go ahead and and, and pay the writers more yo god forbid you know but I they, the they could have paid the writers more they could have paid for better scripts or at least keep revising the scripts until they had something like perfect well, the problem Which, is the also- story itself was so good. They, 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 they could have done this a, 10 million different ways. No, I'm Four. on a roll. They, they could have done this 10 million different ways, but they didn't. And I, I don't want the excuse that, oh, well, they were on a tight budget. It's Netflix. Or I'd also like to point out that Netflix is also the type of people that like to use "quote unquote" hype as a way to indicate if they should keep going. And I bet they, and I guess their mindset was, and I'm not defending Netflix, but I'm going to defend their mind. Mo- not defending not Netflix. I'm just using this as an example. Netflix is most likely was like, oh, the hype will be gone for this show if we just if we do it much later. I go, no, it would be a lot more popular because everyone's like, yeah. You know how much hype happened for Dark Crystal John, coming back? If you've made it this far, that should yeah. be enough. Yeah, but a lot of people were yet yeah, were excited, and they were even again more excited for when season two was announced. Can I murder Sean then, now? Maybe. I don't know. Can you? Well, from that accident, no. <laughs> juggling, bitch! You don't juggle. Only I can juggle. That's it. You bitch! Oh, we both monsters both stomped on each other. Bitch! My comment the Netflix shoots popular show, shows like Old Yeller. Yeah, if it's not a critical sensation, if it's not like getting TikTok views, it's dead. It, d- it shouldn't exist. Well, According no, even if it's. I mean, even if it's that's I mean, that's not even a good comparison because they've killed some of their most popular shows with uh, not really any explanation. Like one day at a time was and Dark Crystal, both were very popular, critically acclaimed. Um, but that it, but it wasn't getting like orange is the new black, I guess, kind of. Well, I mean, I've I assume it was. I don't know. I don't think it was getting Orange is the New Black levels. Because also, Orange is the New Black had the back had the backup of, like, it was a book first! Yeah. Well, and it was uh, based on a true story, but they kind of way changed a lot of things. But, um, I mean, honestly, that, that was a show that definitely suffered from seasonal rot but oh yeah i think i stopped there. watching i think second no third season when did they kill when did they kill Pusay washington that's when i stopped because i'm like my favorite character's dead i, think I can't i think that was season four yeah i was just Fate. like you killed my favorite character fuck you i get you wanted to make a police Suffer. brutality message but why i Hated how that went down. Um, I mean, not just because you know I hated that they took her off, but like I always hate when a show makes someone who's not, who hasn't been inherently a bad guy, suddenly a harder, quote unquote bad guy. If that makes sense, like, like I would have expected that to have been done by. Um, the asshole, what the true asshole one that was like a psychopath, but it was that young kid who barely knew what he was doing, and it was just like I didn't, I wasn't a fan of that, of well, really any part of the storyline, but especially that because it was a hard watch. Oh god, it was such a hard watch. I was just like, because it was also really hard to to know what they were trying to. What a, what they were trying to lean you towards as far as feelings? Yeah. 
I have no horse in this race. Yeah, of course, like, yeah, I got no horse in this race. Again, it's not an animated show, so I'm not gonna Yeah, but watch like, it. they could have done something better. I just couldn't continue watching after that, because I'm like... You're forcing me to feel, and like, not in a good way. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, because you feel... They were... You... They were making... The guy who did it, like, he was very a very sympathetic, like, character. And, like, it made you feel bad, but then also you made- You felt bad for feeling bad, because he, like, did this terrible thing. But also it felt like he was kind of put in a situation? I don't know. Again, it would have made more sense for it to be the asshole one that was a psychopath. Oh, yeah. As opposed to, like, I don't know what they did. I love, I love the fact that they... That they it, it, it's still stuff talking that they just support Fate now more than, more than the shows right now. Which is, what is it, like three sequels now? Three sequel series or side series now? I'm like, dude. Thinking it's just the one. A one that's got a second season now, mind you, but... What is it again? It's the Big Mouth, uh, sequel series. Ah, my ass! And don't get us started on live-action Death Note, because I could get started on it. I'm not even a Death Note fan, and I got offended. I mean, at least One Piece was, was- at least the One Piece one was pretty good. I can't yeah, wait for Tony Tony Chopper! I can't wait for my boy! I can't wait, wait for Mark Milo, the cause they're actually putting him in more! I can't wait for Crocodile, either! They actually took oh, care of the freaking casting! Wait, Crocodile? Is... Yes. I can't wait for them to show- to show who Luffy's mom is. You're never gonna do that, though. Yeah, they will. It's Crocodile. Crocodile is not Luffy's mom! I mean... The wise, you know, the Frankenfurter lady. Yeah. At least you're doing, a, you're doing a, be a better freaking fan theory than that other shitty one. I'm gonna wait here politely until Nero pops in and starts shaking me. <laughs> Um, speaking of Death Note, uh, aren't they workshopping the Death Note musical for Broadway or Off-Broadway? Most likely Off-Broadway. I would love to see that come to Broadway. You know what I would love to I... see? What? Is it Mihawk and... In the... <laughs> yes, Mihawk and Booty Is it about me? Is it about... I fucking knew it! <laughs> no, it's not Mihawk and Booty Shorts! Not everything's about Mihawk and Booty Shorts! Yeah, but your brain goes to like strange places, just out of the blue. It's, just, it, it's much like a random wheel. It's just like, oh, what? What's the topic of today? Mihawk's left butt cheek, apparently. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you were saying? Never mind. The ADHD killed the killed the commentary. Moving on. Good. Figure out some new commentary while I get my ass kicked. Will you stop attacking me? What was it you wanted to see? <laughs> I also like the live action One Piece because one, it covers things that happen later in the manga, which makes sense they should be explored explored now. Although there's one thing in the the, the, the uh, live action uh, One Piece that I really fucking hate. Yes, go on, you tell. The syrup, sure. uh, the syrup island arc. Syrup? 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 When they meet uh, Usa. Okay, thank you. I'm never, I'm never gonna remember these island names. Don't even start with me. So the island where I gotta pause for this because I also have to freaking wake up my hand. It's a little numb from the cold weather. Cold weather. My air conditioner. Uh, so the uh, 
It's when they basically, it's, you meet the girl, and like, we know something, and you meet the butler, but they kept playing yeah, like yeah, the yeah, sinister yeah. music sting whenever he showed on screen. And I'm like, okay, why are we lingering? Like, they're basically hitting over the head. This man is evil. This man is evil. Well, like the anime, yes, you think there's something up with him, but you're not thinking he's so evil that he's poisoning the girl, you know? And then they're like, like, slow lingering shot on the tea that she has to drink. Like, ha, huh, sinister music and weird lighting. I'm like, okay, listen, show, don't tell, show, don't tell. I get that. But like, this is a little much showing. It's like in the anime, they played him off more as just like a protective fatherly figure. Yeah, and not doing the whole, hey, by the way, here, hits with two by four. This man is evil. I'm like, yes, we know he's fucking evil. He's the butler. Yes, we know this This is Kuro. We're we're well aware of that. We've watched the anime. Like, I get it if you're trying to help people who didn't watch the anime before. I know that. But, like, I think this might be a bit much. Because, like, if they showed him as, like, a normal protective father figure-like character. Go with me on this. And then suddenly, boom, the heel turn? You know how awesome that would have been? I don't know, but I, but I think I triggered BGL's fighter flight instincts that he's a, and they're a flightless bird. Oh yeah, the Mihawk theory that I've heard one hit, that a bunch of assholes are doing, and I hate them. No, no, specifically that crocodile is is confirmed canon. But he's wrong. He keeps reminding me of. Oh, and I can't remember. There was some adaptation, so maybe you'll remember. Some, it was either a show, oh. it was either a TV show or a movie we went to see, and it was an adaptation of something else, or a remake. And there was one part where, like, it was a character <clears throat> that I want to say you, like, are supposed to not like later on, and they just were really, like, emphasizing, remember, you're supposed to hate them, remember, you're supposed, you're supposed to, to hate them, you're supposed to hate them. No, uh, no, we've never, wa we've never watched the Bayonetta Bloody Fate. We haven't yet, in my case, because I'm trying to find it. But no, we were talking about the live-action My, uh, My Hero Academia. May there never be a live-action My Hero Academia. Um, we are talking about the live-action One Piece. Marinheta. Marinheta. No, the other, uh, theory, there's a th there's a stupid theory being done by assholes who are power scalers, more or less. Where it's like, oh, Mihawk isn't really the strongest swordsman. He's a giant bull place fucking liar because we don't see him do a lot of fights. I'm like, yes, and the few fights you have seen, does the man splitting an uh, freaking iceberg in half with a sword mean nothing to you? Do you just not accept that there happens to be a character in this show who hasn't eaten a devil fruit that's actually a lot stronger than most devil fruit users? Goldie Roger was one of those characters. You know, the former Where? king of the pirates. But no, Mihawk having to be like this. No, he's a fake. He's a phony. He doesn't really, he's not really that strong. And all those types of people who are like that are usually people who just don't like that certain uh, types of fans are into the fa are in the fandom and don't like that this one character that they're all dissing on happens to be popular with those types of fans in the fandom. And use the term female frequently, if that now gives you an idea. Success! I'm sorry, they remade the Toxic Avenger? When? Not that good. I imagine. Yeah, we, we haven't heard about it. Is that Kevin Bacon? Mm, Bacon. And Peter Dinklage? And Elijah, what? Why? Bacon pancakes, making bacon Kevin bacon pancakes. Bacon pancakes. What show, what show that was I was talking about, though? That's why I found like, this, because I'm trying to figure out... Well, what are some, like, remakes or adaptations we've seen recently? I don't know. I do A wealth of knowledge. I know, isn't it great? Bitch, stop fighting me during a cutscene! Isn't it fun how dumb I am? Why is this bitch fighting me during a cutscene? Hi, by the way, hello, Marin Haka. Sorry for not acknowledging your existence. Glowing vagina, anyway. I, excuse me? Watch the TV. I did. What, what? 
Hey. If your pussy is glowing for more than five hours, see a doctor. <laughs> see a therapist. Potentially make fun, but also just to actually be able to talk about it with with any knowledge. Um, it was the the last Airbender live action on Netflix, and it wasn't that the person was evil. It was that they kept being like, "Remember, Iroh's a tr truly good guy. Remember this. Remember this," and like really emphasizing that as opposed to showing him as a complex character. Oh, my personal favorite. They got rid of Sokka. made mistakes in the past. Can I also point out they also got rid of Sokka's sexism because they're like, "No, we can't have this character be sexist." I'm like, character growth. Y'all ever heard? Oh, of it? the Water Tribe. The Water Tribe can't be sexist. Like, of course they fucking can. The problem isn't that sexism exists, it's the fact that the characters let it happen. That awkward moment when all when they're like, let the women fight, and it's just the very too long, too long of a shot of all the women of the, the Northern Water Tribe being like, looking up sadly. And it's just like, this is, oh, this is a little ham-fisted. Yeah, everyone makes fun of that of one hand scene hand in the Avengers hand. with all the girl, the girl power moment in Avengers. See, that is not cringe at all. That's the, the like, let the women fight. Sadly, looking up for a long ass time. Yeah. In what is and suddenly they learn how to moment. fight. These people who are trained to be healers know how to fucking fight. Up, oh, they fucked up. Oh He's my god, it was that one scene from Spider Man. Fuck up. Yeah, you did. You fucked up. Go. Oh, this is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. This is stupid. I know you're fighting on a missile. Why is this fight scene so fucking long? Because it's the final boss battle. This is not the final boss. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. Because you're fighting your uh, your catcher, your Adora. Where, where, where's my giant fuck you sword when I need it? But uh, okay, I have a fucking I I I'm actually kind of like myth when it comes. There's something going on with uh. God damn, what is wrong with words today? You haven't been caffeinated. There's, I have been caffeinated, but. This is more of a technical issue when it comes to when it comes to current filmmaking, and I've seen it a lot with Netflix shows. What is it with people just standing there? So Netflix has a big problem where they make shows that look pretty, but they have no substance. They're cake. No, 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 no. This happens in Sweet Tooth a lot. This happens in Sweet Tooth, and it happened in the Avatar series as well, where people just stand there. And they don't stand there with character. They don't stand there with, like, any personality. It's just square. They stand there like a square. Also, no, this is not a magic. Like, yes. they don't use their arms to emote. They don't use hand gestures. They don't do... They barely do any of that. They just, when they're talking, they just stand there and they talk. Like, emote! Gravitate! Do something! Also, uh, Marin Haka, yes, I've seen the taunt animations. This is not my first rodeo with this game. I just haven't played since 2019. Um, I will say one thing that really kills me in, like, adaptations of very popular franchises or remakes of franchises is when the directors make like wild decisions because they think they're just like, well, this is my thing, so. Okay, wanna know one of the things that really took me off? 
Hey, Ginger, you know the great musical, pla the great TV cult classic and musical, Heathers. Yes, don't even get. Oh my God, that, <laughs> that TV series that is just so. It's so bad because like the beyond words. Because it's like they make the Heathers basically the other, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. one's a guy, one's them. a you know, and it's like all the sad. And I'm like, the that's not the bad guys. Yeah, well, they, what, it's like, no, the Heathers are supposed to be the pretty blonde bitches who basically get you know, what they want because they're pretty blonde white girls. Yeah, didn't they, they make fun to, of a dude in the be, original? They no, tried that's to not be Heathers. like, um. They tried to basically be like, well, high school's not like this anymore. There are mm -hmm. popular pretty kids. And it was like, yes, it is. Yes, it, it is. It always has been. It always, always will, will be. be. That it's just what happens, especially when someone is like a rich, pretty girl, and and what's so crazy is there is there is stuff that they could have explored more if they were gonna like you know make some of the choices they did. There is definitely some stuff they could have explored more, but it's just I don't it. You felt like it was made by someone who was like, oh, the musical's popular, let's remake this, but... Let's just remake the TV really... show and not do the musical. But didn't really want to remake The Heathers, instead just wanted to, like, make a um, spin-off of... Uh, mean Girls. No, it's the art... Uh, the... Well, Mean Girls was... Uh, took inspiration from Heathers, but... I mean, what's the Archie show? Riverdale. Yeah, yeah, they, they just started started Riverdale. Riverdale. No. I will. Remind me to oh, show yes. you this. Remind, that... me to, remind me to show you this video as to say that was done by a guy who basically has a personal vendetta against the creator of Riverdale. Like this real good personal vendetta. <laughs> the wildest, one of the wildest ones, though. I mean, like that one's pretty wild, but it's also just like honestly offensive. Just in general, like. Yeah. But one of the wildest ones is um what's his fucking name? The he's been doing like action or uh, con uh superhero movies. Uh, James Gunn when he did uh the second Suicide Squad. And he killed the character that is known to like amazingly survive everything. Oh, they did that with um there's a character in X-Men who was like that as well. Uh, there's a character in X-Men called uh, Fa Darwin, and he can survive everything. And yet they kill him off in the first 15 minutes. I'm like, that's not how, what? Yeah. Well, it's not that he can, it's just like he miraculously, it's just like one of those things. He just miraculously always survives. That's like a, a trope of his in the, in the, you know, comics and stuff. But James Gunn was like, well, I want people to know that anyone can die. Any Anyone's on the table. Nothing's off the table. It's kind of like what those assholes did in The Walking Dead. They killed off the favorite character. Even the actor. And, so, and this wasn't even like, oh, contract negotiations gone wrong. You know, like in Soap Rappos, this character's suddenly dead because of contract yeah. issues. No, even the actor was like, I don't know why the fuck they killed me. I'm the most popular fucking character in that show. I'm like more than the star. <laughs> That's probably why. It is always interesting, though, when a show kills off its main character, but continues, especially when the show is named for the main character it killed off. Yeah. Oh, God. I will sooner or later get past this chapter. I have an idea. Four, you take over. No, I'm good. Come on, Core. It's a platinum game. You can do this. No, the fuck I can't. I hate but I hate playing platinum games. The only one I will voluntarily play is Transformers Devastation. What about what, what about Nier? That that's a close second. Which was not going to be put on the list because we're doing one shots for a while, because if I do Nier Tom and I gotta do Nier Replicant, because I have both. And even Nub was like, Cat, why are you insane? Why are you doing replicant? Because it has one of my favorite characters in it. I will say one of the funniest moments. This is, I guess, for anyone who hasn't seen the first Suicide Squad movie, 
spoiler. Um, but they're the like first person to like die. Die in it. I knew he was gonna movie. die. He's, a big, he's like an actor. He's been in tons of stuff, and I was like, oh, I'm seeing him in any of the promotions, you would think they would have promoted him. Yeah. Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, the, never mind. The best thing is when I was watching Suicide Squad, I'm like, that character's going to fucking die. We got no introduction to him. We got no backstory. I'm waiting for him to say that he's three days away from retirement and he misses his wife and kids. I'm like, the coughing is happening in the theater. Damn, I can't believe Cora hates the Okami people. I'm sorry, I don't like platinum games. Don't worry, Cora. I'll play a FromSoft game. Like, I'll, I'll play it to near completion and then not play it anymore because my, my ADHD drove me away to another series. But like... Funny though. Oh, it's funny. So? Wait, am I cranky? What? Oh, I was saying, I thought for... For, I thought you liked Okami though. Or am I crazy? You I are crazy. crazy. I love Okami art style, but like, I haven't played the game. The art style is great. I played Okami. Kor was here. Kor kept making Jade Emperor jokes, and I kept telling him, Kor, wrong religion. <laughs> Will you stop hurting me? I'm asking you politely, ma'am. Uh, also, fuck Waller. I hate Waller. You hate what? I hate Waller. What's that? Uh, the lady who put the bombs in the Suicide Squad next. Oh, no one was supposed to like Amanda Waller. Even I hate her. Amanda Waller is such a good character to fucking despise. It's so great to despise her. Because I despise her frequently. You know, the like, weird wait, thing is, the only, she's time in the... Ever, the only time I've ever been mad at the creators when treating Amanda Waller, I'm like, why'd they make this bitch skinny? Why'd they make her suddenly lose weight? Why is she so thin now? <laughs> I got mad about that. It's all right to have no. a character that is, that is big evil. boned. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. As long as you make her good. Yeah, and she's great. Well, or as long as you make I her a say, good I will say, yeah, that actress was what she does that evil so well. Oh, yeah. No, it was so funny because I was watching one of the animated Suicide Squad movies, which are really good, by the way. I highly recommend them. Um... They made Amanda Waller skinny again, and I'm skinny, and I'm like, why is she skinny? And they're like, oh, she has cancer or some kind of disease, and you know, because you're supposed to be getting this thing that will help you have, you know, basically, you're. It's basically it's a get out of jail card or it's a get out of hell card, more or less. If you have this card, you won't have to go to hell if you die. Oh fuck off! <laughs> it's a stupid magic item, but I fucking love it. It's such a stupid fucking item. But the thing is, like. One of the members of the Suicide Squad, he talks about how basically his wife and kids got killed and all of this jazz and all that stuff. And he's a really nice guy. And I'm like, oh, this fucker's going to die. What I did not expect him to do is the guy to be like, wait, 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 before he dies, before you die, he puts the card, the get out of hell free card on it because he's like, you got to go see your kids, man. You know what I mean? I was Aww. like, I'm like, oh, my fucking Lord, that is so sweet. Cause like there's a whole conversation about like is there a heaven to hell? Where are we going? We've done good things, but we're also villains. Are we allowed to go back there? You know, all this really interesting conversation. And one guy goes, "Well, I know I'm going to hell, and I'm going to hate it because my wife and kids are definitely not going to be there when I get die." <laughs> and you're like, you learn his backstory, and it's canonical to the comics. And I'm just like, oh fucking hell! I feel sorry. And like. Again, he's talking about his family. I'm like, oh, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. And then he dies. And then he gets that. He has to get out of hell free card. And I'm like, yay! Hell to pay. Yeah, that's the one. And in the process of hell to pay, you're like, Amanda Waller wants that card for herself. And I'm like, why does she want her card? Well, this card. And you find out, oh, she has an incurable disease and she might die. I'm like, oh. Good. Yeah, that's what I thought, like, good. And they're like, that's why she's been losing so much weight is because of illness. I go, okay, listen, I've lost weight due to illness. You don't suddenly have an hourglass sexy bod now all of a sudden, like. You go weird. What a description. You go weird. 
because well, the way they made her skinny made her look like basically the attractive skinny. If you are basically dying, as a person who knows people with cancer who lost a lot of weight because of it, you don't look suddenly attractive. You, you know what I mean? Why'd you screw over Waller every chance you get? Because it's fucking Amanda Waller. And no one likes her. You're never supposed to like her. If you like her, you better say you like hating her. Or like you like her as a villain, not like you want to become her. Yeah, I love Amanda Waller as a villain. She is despicable. I love her as a villain. How many times have I died? That, I actually don't answer that. Like right up. That's that's right up there with, oh, well, I would love a Joker and Harley relationship. Like, no the so fuck, you, you do not. not. You want a, you want at least a Poison Ivy and Harley relationship. Oh yeah, I, I, I agree. Cause it's just like, whenever people are like, oh, Joker and Harley relationship goes, and I'm running away. And you are immediately on my do not talk to this. You are, you are immediately on my red flag warning. Listen, there are many ways I basically sift through potential dates, and one of them is, how do you feel about the Joker and Harley Quinn as a couple? It's, and a, they, vi it's a very good, it's a very good, uh, Representation of a toxic relationship. Yes. Okay, then. Pass. Now, how do you, now, whose side were you on when you played Skyrim? Both sides suck. Oh, real good card there. If they say Nords forever, Skyrim shall prevail, I'm like, aha, and I'm going over here. So what about that Dark Elf they, they killed? Uh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, what about, uh, what about, what about the, the, the Dark Elf? What, what, what about him? What about, what about that, that poor bastard? Oh, yes, I would love to have a man who basically will commit crime so he can heal me, but I'm like, can we talk about the American health system? I'm never gonna get past this level. I know I'm not. I can feel it in my bones. Your bones. <laughs> my achy bones! Because I keep dying right there. At that part, because I don't have any health items. Okay, let's think. Let's use our brain cell. Why is my brain cell on fire? You have to ask. God, Platinum games are hard. Sitting over here, I I smile and stare at my drink. Oh, really now, are they? I would never have guessed. Quiet, Cole. I, I, I will make you play I will make you play a game. You can't make me do jack shit. Yes, but it's a co-op game, and I've been wanting to play it with you. Uh-huh, what is it? Streets of Cabarocho! Bless you. Bless you? Yeah, I didn't understand a fucking word you just said. It is a, basically, a game about, that's set in the Yakuza universe. It's basically like Streets of Rage. Oh, we're back to Yakuza. Listen! I'm not gonna play five anytime soon! Every you time I get the out, they More pull me back think. in. What? Also, how are we gonna play that? I don't even have that. Oh, easy, because it's it's couch co-op. Oh, the. Okay, I hope your internet's good enough. Hey, my internet's been improved since the Cuphead incident. I hope so. I don't want to fucking fight Mr. Dice King again on my own. when it comes to freaking Cuphead now. Thank you very much. Persevere and you shall succeed. Yes, Vanguard. Persevere and I shall succeed. Yeats core at the sun. Why are... Why do I keep being thrown? <laughs> Fine. Yeats core at John. Distract her. What? Did not change a thing. Listen, if you're yeeted, you're a distraction. Why? Because Ginger isn't a good distraction, because Ginger is small, and we need tall versus person versus tall person. 
tallest. This is tallism right here. My tallest. This, this is this is sizeism. Is it sizeism a king? No, size difference is a king. This is so fucking hard. As someone who's drawn sizeism, size or as some not sizeism. Size difference, it's a king. I should know. I've drawn it as well. I really need to get that sight up and running again. Sight. I can't say on Twitch. There's a lot of fans on there. No, it's not that one, it's the other one. Are you talking about corn cob? No. <laughs> Not corn cob. Okay. Not corn cob. Is that is that on the soundboard? Do I have a soundboard? I wonder what would happen if I played played that. Uh, we would get in cheap trouble. So let's not do that button, okay, Core? Do not play their forbidden beat. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the video compilations of drummers who are playing like professionally? And they just kind of sneak it in there, particularly if they are jazz drummers. Mm hmm And people just be like, mm -hmm. like turning, like it's hey, yo. It's what's up? <laughs> what? Hey, yo. I'm so sorry, PGL, but I'm also not. I don't. I remember one person being like, "Is that the? Is that the music? I think it is." And it's, it's like, I mean, no, I don't hear that music at all. I don't watch pornography, not with the sound on. I usually watch it muted and play classical music like a gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't watch porn, especially with the sound on. I mute it and watch classical music. It makes me fancy. Okay. Fuck. Oh, that got me. You're welcome. Okay. I'm going to the bathroom for a second. Core's going to entertain the chat. So oh yeah, Ginger fucking dance. fucking pressure me into this, why don't you? Fine, Ginger will entertain the chat. Oh god. I am back. Also, I'd like to point out something I remembered while I was on the toilet. The guy who I told you what? basically mutes the video and plays classical music while watching, he had a British accent. Oh, of course he did. Of course he did. Why wouldn't he? Of course. Okay. So. Can you stop looking dead, Bayonetta? Can someone please look up? How to oh. find Jean? Oops! I hit the wrong button! Shit! You dim a done fucked up! I done fucked up. You dim a done fucked up? Aw oh, shit, back at the Krispy Kreme again! Hold on, I'm about to break out something, because I had a funny feeling I was gonna hit a roadblock in Bayonetta. I'm about to oh. break out something. Oof. Chapter is this. Forgot. Hold on, I'm gonna break out something. I hate breaking this out, but I'm gonna have to break it out. Break it out. I wanna do now is break, break the out. fuck out. <laughs> oh! I squeeze. Oh, I can basically make this easy. I can make this I easy for myself if I wanted to. I can make myself. I could put myself on easy for this if I wanted to. You. No, I'm gonna try... You coward. No, I'm gonna break out something else. Is this the last fight with her? Yeah. Oh, no so wonder apparently, it's... if you dodge her wicked weaves, you can use... Uh... Witch time. You can pretend... Yeah, you can potentially use witch time. I've done so much of that. My hands hurt. Oh, I don't know. I got, uh, hold on, I'm I'm gonna break out something. Don't like using it that often, but sometimes desperate times call, call for, for desperate, desperate measures. Yes. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Okay. Oh, hello, Wee Mod. How are you doing? No, I haven't used you in 3,000 years. Corn, I... corn, 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 corn. Really? 
I saw corn. Oh, I, I do have it. Open. Okay, let's see if it has one for Bayonetta. For those who are wondering what I am using, I am using a thing called Wiimod. It is basically a thing that helps people when they get into difficult parts in video games. You're modding the game? Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm using this thing to help myself. As soon as it opens up. I don't use this game off. I don't use this thing often, but when I do, because I really fucking need to. I have a Dos Equis. <laughs> I have a Dos Equis. I wish I was having Dos Equis. Wait, I hate beer. But yeah. Um, okay. And if anyone's about to tell me, but Cat, this is cheating. But Cat, this is that. Blah, 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 blah. First of all, I can change the difficulty on this game and make, the, make this like ten times easier on myself. But I don't want to. And two... Shut. <laughs> Ugh, it's installing an update because I haven't used it in so long. I haven't used this thing in like ah, months. Fun fact, I originally got this for in case I got stuck in Resident Evil. <laughs> I had a feeling I was going to get stuck during Resident Evil. It didn't happen, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Aqua and I were sharing the same brain cell. What? <laughs> when I do, I don't need the seconds. Mm, Sorry. Again, the uh, hi people the who are watching. Nuts, pan pan scrap. Hi, hi people who are watching this on Twitch Modland. <laughs> um, by the way, I've been at this for two fucking hours, and I need a. I'm going insane doing it, so I'm gonna just basically use it for this level and hope to God I don't have to use it again. Yeah, just keeping it on, just in case. Can you install later? It's taking a while. If all else fails, I'll just set the difficulty to stupid levels of easy and do it that way, as much as I fucking hate that. I'll use a game trainer, but I ain't gonna use it. A... You're gonna use what? Okay, let's see. What are you gonna use? Which, Login which, credentials! Okay. God dang it. I don't even remember my login credentials. Later. Oh good, Bayonet is on here. Thank God. Why is it taking so long? Start playing. Turn that on. Just want that on. I think I'll be fine. All right. All right, folks, let's try this again. Yeah, what did you activate? Y'all see? It works. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Well, perhaps you're, you're about to see my machine go into hyperdrive! Is this cheating? Yes. Do I care? No. Did I turn on unlimited health? Yes! Oh my god, I can't believe Cat became a non-gamer. Shun. Oh, uh, it did not work! Ha! <laughs> Hold on, do I have to restart the game? <gasps> oh boy. Oh, that's hilarious. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 hey. Unlimited... Did you save it? Did it help on... Did you save the game? Time to go into maximum overdrive. And die. <laughs> I'm God! Oh, it's not working. Oh no. Hold I'm on. in danger. Let's try this again. It should be on. It should be on in theory. I 
have to restart the game and do it again, I will. Okay, hold on. I'm going to purposely get hit to test this. Hit me! Hit me, baby, one more time. Okay, I'm not dying. Okay, we're good. I had her just restart the level. Yeah, motion sickness level. Numbers. This is where people go, Cat, this is cheating. Cat says, fuck you. Alright, Cat being hostile. Cat does not like dealing with bullshit levels that are bullshit. There's a reason why I support Wii Mod. It helps people who get stuck in video games. It's very it helps with accessibility. I don't use it in Elden Ring, sadly. Elden Ring gets mad. I fully understand why, um, outside of, like, a game where you're competing against other players where it could, you know, actually affect someone else, why people get so upset about how someone chooses to experience the game. Oh yeah, like, I play games on easy mode, and it's like, I'm here to enjoy the plot. But then some people are like, no, you can't do that. I want to enjoy the plot. And like, again, this is basically unlimited health because we all know I've been basically grinding my head. I've been butting my head against this wall that is known as this level, and I'm getting sick and tired of it. I'm going to turn it off as soon as I'm done with this level. Maybe. Does it work in Kingdom Hearts? Yes, it does. I have that. I, yes, it does. It works for all the Kingdom Hearts games. Have I actually used it? No, but I know it existed in case of emergencies. Actually, maybe I could use it when I do the data fight. I'm kidding, I'm not gonna do it on the data fights. And again, it's not like I'm activating, like, unlimited money or unlimited magic or anything like that. I'm just doing, you know, I get hit, it doesn't hurt me. It's basically a new shield. Eep. What? I was just getting, sorry, I'm, I'm not a fan of the argument for, so, for, like, souls and Elden Ring, where it's like, well, it has to be difficult because that's the end, because... Sometimes, sometimes a game should have an easy mode. Yeah, well, it's just accessibility. I get, I mean, even an easy mode can be, you know, you can make it challenging and difficult, but I think my thing is a lot of higher difficulties, it's not so much the boss is difficult, it's they throw a lot of stuff at you at the same time, and that really, like, overwhelms and overstimulates, so it makes it hard. But also, again, it's not... It's just however anyone chooses to experience the game on their own. Yeah, listen, time. there's a reason why... <laughs> there's a reason why the original... Oh, fuck, what's that game called? That invented the Konami Code. Contra. Uh, Street Fighter? No. Contra. There's a reason why in Contra there was an up, up, Bad and down, turn. left, right, left, right, BA start. And basically it gives you, like, a lot more lives and really good weapons because they knew people would get stuck in a park. We're never doing the Sephiroth fight. Stop asking. Okay. Not unless I'm given money. Give me monies or snackies. Cock. Besides, you got to hear a core scream nice cock over and over again. You wonder. No. No, 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 no. Cool. What's the cool? Oh, boy. Yeah. I was. Or, what are you doing? I'm on Foundry. I'm doing stuff. Ah. I'm that too. But, uh, I'm gonna throw my two, 
you sense into the Dark Souls, into the like easy mode stuff with Dark Souls. The people who say that Dark Souls do doesn't have an easy mode need to shut the fuck up and understand what, how the game is structured. Because the first Dark Souls is a very good like example of organic difficulty. Yeah. The game presents you with multiple ways to go. And it says, all right, you can either go down in which you get hit by a bunch of bullshit that you're going to have to contend with and it's going to be a hard fight. But if you do that, you'll be way over leveled and like you'll be able to breeze through a lot of the game very easily. Or you can take the more organic difficulty where it is a slower progression of how difficult the game is going to be. It's going to show you, okay, this is how the game is going to function throughout the rest of the series. It's going to just get more and more difficult. Also, oh, thank you, Plague Doctor Nagasaki, for shotgun. A friendship. Arkham Doctor. Shout out, Cannon. Does it actually tell you that, or is it something you're supposed to figure out? It's something you experience. Like, it, it essentially is, like, you turn one corner, it's like, all right, I'm going to go down this this place. Slap! All your health is gone. Okay, that's dangerous. I'm not going to go that way. At least not yet. And you turn around and go somewhere else. That's the mindset you're supposed to go in with Dark Souls, is that if the challenge is too hard, like, if exploring is, is like, a near-death experience, don't do that. Versus you go down one corridor, it's like, all right, I'm hitting this guy, he dies instantly. I'm hitting this guy, he dies instantly. They do hit hard back, but you are able to kill them rather easily. That, and those are the passages you should be taking. Did my Not health go down? Like, uh, yeah. Not to mention, like, at, on the starting level of Dark Souls, they give you so much to use. They give you a really good first weapon if you uh, if you're able to wield it. They give you a bunch of like souls at the very start, so you can level your character up like almost instantly two levels. They give you the resources that, but you have to explore and find them. You have to be curious. You have you have to look around. And that's what I feel like a lot of people are missing with the argument is that the first Dark Souls is a good way of showing, not telling, the difficulty. Also, another and thing you have to remember. you to actually go out and explore the environment rather than go, all right, this, all right, obviously, like, this is where the story is. Well, the other thing I want to point out is, like, Dark Souls also has this mindset that I think a lot of video gamers forget it's like you don't have to fucking fight everything no you don't you running, can run is, a past running is a valid thing that's what i've been doing in elden ring i just run from the enemies yeah you can you can fully just run past a lot of the enemies like there there are some where you do have to deal with them. oh yeah bosses obviously. oh there there are also like obstacles and, and enemies that do bar your way that you do have to deal with first but they're either pretty weak or they isolate themselves from the other problem uh, from the other problem monsters that would you know shank you and kill you kill you in a group uh honestly one of the things that one of the reasons why i can't the biggest reasons why i can't play dark souls or like elden ring reaction time there's uh, there's not enough, well, possibly that, but there's not enough contrast. I can't tell, like, I can't really see, I mean, it's not that I can't see it very well, it's just my brain. You can't tell what's, what's a monster and what's a background. Or, yeah, yeah, and it's, it's not necessarily, it's hard to explain, because it's not necessarily visibility, though I imagine people with visibility vision issues probably also experience that it's when something for some reason when something's like there's not a whole lot of contrast in an image um and especially if it's like a lot of grays and blacks i can't 
seem to distinguish shapes very well, or it's like things, and it makes me get lost. We're not gonna enjoy re re near Revenant then, because uh, the contrast in that game is a little long along. Yeah, it, I don't think it's a vision thing. I actually think it's uh, maybe a combination of my ADHD and autism. It's like a stimulation thing, I think, of my. I would have this just playing Hyper Light Drifter then. Because that is a good, like, Souls like game. That also is probably a lot easier for you to see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. The entire argument of, like, oh, Souls games don't have an easy mode. Like, Elden Ring is a perfect example that the game does have an easy mode. You just go off and, like, explore for five hours, collecting a shit ton of runes, and then, like, you go fight your first bosses, like, wow, just took Godric and snapped him over my knee like a toothpick. Okay. How was that fight so easy? Oh, it's because you over-leveled the shit out of yourself because you were curious and you explored the game. For it my, rewards you. For my case, then goes, cat go here, cat go here, why? Just go there, why? You'll thank me later. And then I got Meteor. Yeah, the game, the game rewards you for being curious. Which is very much in contrast with the entire, oh, get good. It's like, no, just be curious. Learn. Look. That's, that's one it's of like the things college. that makes me... I really hate that get good mentality because... Oh, yeah. It's toxic. Well, it's toxic, but also it's very... Rude. Um, it's rude, but it's... Um... Oh my god, I can't think of... Gatekeeping. It's able it. Well, it's gatekeeping, but it's also able it. Because sometimes the reason people need, like, an easy mode or whatever is for, like, certain things that, like, that makes it too difficult for. Uh -huh. um... I think a better way to say it is that not allowing people to have an easier way to complete the game. Yeah. Because easy mode always tends to indicate like oh you have to change the entire game it's like no the game itself can provide things for you yeah and go all right you're having a tough time go do something else then. don't or do if, this or if you're having a hard time why don't you take this alternate path and hey look here's a sort of fuck you no lube yeah yeah the, if the game organically gives you an easier way out then that's perfectly valid that's a perfectly good good way like a game does, doesn't necessarily need a quote-unquote easy mode in order to give its players a better chance at succeeding. And, to, and, and for somebody to, and for like people who are against like the easy mode to just point that out as the only way and just go, oh, okay, that, like that's, that's not, that doesn't help. Also, there, that doesn't help anybody. So here's a fun fact I know about for Undertale, because we're talking about like really hard bosses. The final boss in Undertale, not Flowey, uh, Azir, Azri, 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 Azri. Azrael Dreamer? Yes. Here's an easy way to fight, to fight, do his fight and just go through it quickly. But there's a thing you have to do. Save the slice of butterscotch, cinnamon butterscotch pie. And then eat it in front of him. Yeah, instantly knocks him out. He's like, wait. Mom used to that's make my mon yeah. That's my mom's pie. Yeah, but it basically just makes him, like, stop. And that makes the fight, like, ten times easier. Because, you know... But the problem is you have to either A, know about it, or B, know someone who knew about that trick and everything. Or you're one of those types of people who's like, I can't eat this pie. Mom gave it to me. Yay, goat mom. Okay. And it also gives that organic feel of like a community where if you're seeing someone play it and you know they're not going to have as good of a time with that, you can tell them, hey, save the butterscotch pie. Don't eat it. You don't even need to tell them, tell them why. You just say, save the butterscotch pie. Don't, yeah, you if don't you're going to do pacifist, don't, don't eat the butterscotch pie. Why? Just don't. Just trust them. Don't do it just yet. Yeah, and when you basically are giving a hint, and it's not a spoiler backseat, it's perfectly fine. I like 
like that one time when I tried to do Sephiroth fights in Kingdom Hearts 2 and I kept pointing out how these fights are kind of garbage. Because they're not structured for it. No, they're not. It, it's kind of like, it, it's basically my critique of a, of a Monster Hunter world where they threw in the behemoth. It's like, oh, it's a raid boss inside a Monster Hunter. And I went, this is fucking dumb. Oh, my massive critique, and I've always had this critique. I'm a fan of bosses that give clear indicators of what move they're about to do next so you can know how to react quickly enough, right? So, Sephiroth has three basically fuck you, de you're dead moves, right? And oh, then, yeah, 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 yeah. And there are three different ways to counteract it. You want to know what he does, the only way you can know when he's about to do it? The screen gets darker. That's it. Oh, fuck that. All the moves have the same fucking indicator. And I even pointed out, that's bad boss design! And people are like, you just have to listen to the words and, you know, pay attention that way. Ah, yes, while well, I am in the middle of stream and y'all keep spamming to summon Husbando. Know what I mean? Yeah. Also, just to clarify, should, should we, like... Should we include like, hey, save that item for later? That will help you a lot. Like, as that is that backseating? I don't think of it as backseating if you're not giving the reason why. You know what I mean? I don't really think I, of that as backseating, especially unless it, it depends on the tone of the text as well. If that makes sense. Yeah, like, because because Aqua Fox brought brought it up, and I we have had troubles with backseating before. It's like. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you, if you know the streamer is going to have a very hard time, like, like if you know that you're not good with shit like Asriel Dreamer. Oh yeah. Save the beast guy. That then yeah, just just at the start go, hey, I'm I'm going to tell you this because I'll a later bit of the game is going to be incredibly difficult for you if you don't if you don't do this glowing vagina anyways <laughs> glowing for <Fasuzu. laughs> Suzu. but uh yeah just save this item for now and use it at a uh, use it at a or, or just don't even say use it at a specific time just hey save this item for right now it's very important and it'll help with a very bullshit part later on in the game. Yeah, I, I see. I see why that's difficult to word. I see why that's difficult yeah. to try and like get across. Or it's like when people tell me, "Oh, you need to do this move combination; it will save your life." I'm like, "Hey, hey, hey! I'm learning. If you haven't figured it out, I know a few of the move maneuvers." Yeah, like. Punch, kick, punch, constantly! Like, dude! What do you think I'm fucking doing? If the tone is like, oh, you should be doing, like, this build with this stats and, and all of this, like, telling you how to actively play your character, that's different. If you're saying, hey, this item is going to save you a migraine, please keep... Uh, please keep it around just in case. That's different. <laughs> yeah. Or my personal favorite happened when I played Kingdom Hearts 1. They were like, okay, what did you pick? And, you know, what did you pick? And what did you drop? I said, I picked up this. I picked up the shield. Drop, the, drop this one. And they instantly respond with, oh, you're just going to give yourself a hell of a hard time, aren't you? And they just basically said you fucked up your gameplay because you basically made the bosses extra hard for yourself. If it's in that way. If it's in that way, then just go, oh, well. Oh well, right. we're already five level worlds in. Too late. I was like, yeah, if you catch me playing Undertale and I've already eaten the butterscotch pie, it's like, j just don't, don't mention. It. Don't mention. Don't mention. Don't, don't mention it. Sit back and go. Oh, they're about to fucking punch them on. Just do that. Yeah, because like, and they well, it's because I also said it that I get to the first fifty levels really quickly for Kingdom Hearts, and they're like, oh, that's gonna make your game a lot harder for the bosses, because you're not gonna have an even level split up. You should have done the even one. I go, uh-huh. Maybe I wanted to get to the first 50 levels really quickly. It's like, 
it's those moments. Stop hitting me! Oh, I hate these wicked leaves. Dodge a lot more is like, what do, you, what do you think I'm doing? Or it's like, I just fought, fought this boss for the first time. I don't know what the gifts are, what the uh, tells are yet. Will you stop kicking me in the tit? Why are you punching me in the tit? and you've yourself admitted you're not good at timing? Stop kicking me! Oh, my hand hurts. Hand is cramping. Oh god, she's a dummy mommy with a stepping fetish. Just keep fighting. Just keep Naked fighting. and not. Boy, yeah. Oh. Stop punching me. I love how both of I just noticed how both of y'all's like models, your little avatars, blink and mine just stares forward into the abyss. Well, you are ginger. Gingers don't have eyelids. On my eyes, destroyer of worlds. <laughs> They took my fucking eyes! Why won't you die? Dan! How many different stages do we have to dan, go dan, through? Dan, 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 I I'm, not getting, like, this I'm not your... getting fucking paid. Yes, you are. In what? Joy and laughter. Experience. I, Exposure. I, <laughs> I actually got angry when you said that. How fucking dare you? I did. Hi, Dad. Welcome to Cat. How to use freaking outside things to make her be able to play this damn game. 
Rent costs 900 exposure a month. <laughs> Any questions for you? One who hurt you. Nobody, this is their finish. Yeah, I also love it when from soft heart fanboys, the hardcore fanboys, not core. Core's a good beat. E. Go, oh, oh, Kingdom good Hearts game. Or they're like, oh, Square Enix games don't have hard bosses. Kingdom Hearts is a fucking easy baby game. I'm like... Lied to you. Yeah, who fucking lied to you? Lied. Listen, when the creator, when Nomura found out people were complaining that certain bosses were way too easy, do you want to know what he did? He went home by Saki and made the data fights. I'm sorry, hold your what? Hold my Saki. That's, oh. That is- that's not what I heard. I don't Hold my sucky! Hold my beer! Hold my suck. Boy, oh, you need therapy. Already got through it. The therapist ran away. Wow. He joined the circus. <laughs> wow, you- you- you gonna hurt me more like that, hun? You good? You, you alright? Oh. Wait, no, start shit, you're not towards me. Why is the glowing vagina lady being a pain in the ass? Vagina's glowing, that's the reason why she's so strong. Her vagina is glowing. I made a joke. I made a joke going, do you not know the secret boss in Super Mario RPG? The one that's very what? Run. I'm sorry, I'm looking at a bunch of shit for Pathfinder. There. There's a spoon gun! It fires spoons! Wooden or metal? Yes! Can you mod it can you modify it to be a sport gun? Exactly. Yes, cause you can modify it to be a sport gun. You can just shove a spork in it to be fired. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, someone, that reminds me- Hey, so, uh, Cork, can my, uh, can, can, can Suki have that? Are you a goblin? No, you can't. I act like a goblin. Oh. What if Suki stole it from a goblin? Would Suki see it? It would shatter Borrowed apart it in the their goblin. hands. It would shatter it'll, apart it'll in their hands. These things- goblin? Hold on a minute. They, they, they come with- Oh, what is it? What is it? One of their traits is literally called cobbled. The fucking thing is being held on by prayer and duct tape. And bubblegum. <laughs> the it's users typically upend the, the entire contents of their cutly drawer into the gun, aim it in general direction of the foe, and hope it hits something. It's the junket from Fallout! It is! It's just a handheld junket! Um, that reminds me of the- The pew pew! Park. It's the pew pew junk gun. The spork part reminds me of, um, Four knows this story, but when I was in uh, high school, we had I was not a foreign exchange student. We lived near an airport, an air force base, and we would get sometimes um, students from abroad who were like stationed there. And there was this one kid who was from Spain, and he was in my Spanish class. And my friend and I were joking around one day, um, and we were practicing our Spanish, and I was. 
like, uh, I was trying to make a joke, and I, I turn to him, and I go, uh, como se dice spork, so like, how do you say spork, uh, in Spanish, and he looked at me like, what? You don't know what and a spork is. I'm like, a spork, and he's like, what, a, I don't know what that, what is a spork, and I'm like, it's, you know, it's like a spoon, and a fork, a spork. And he looked at me like, you're fucking with the foreign kid. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm <laughs> truly, truly, <laughs> it's written like my friend was like, no, 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 it exists. And he looked at me, no, he's like, no. And I'm like, I turned to our teacher and I'm like, tell him. It exists. Yes. And he's like, yeah, it's an American thing. <laughs> I would have then gotten that's it. We're going to Taco Bell. We're not eating food. We're just getting a spork from there. I'm gonna show this, the foreign kid what a spork is. Come on, Fez, let's go. <laughs> but it was just so funny because he was—he like literally thought we were fucking with him. What the fuck is that? Omara Shindaru not me. What is this? You are already dead bullshit. <laughs> and it was just so funny. How does she get to spam her wicked weaves and I can't? Because fuck you, that's why. Bosses with their stupid OP abilities. <laughs> I do love when people are going, "Cat, this is bullshit." How do you think I feel? I'm the one playing the game. I also love. Um, there is. A game I've been wanting to try to play called, uh, Core's probably gonna groan when I mention it, because I mentioned it a lot, um, Havoc Brigade, and it's a uh, tabletop role-playing game, and it's basically, you kind of, like, guide the players through being this, like, group of orcs who have to, known as the Havoc Brigade, and they go in and they do orky shit, but one of them... One of the characters the players can choose from is not a group of- is not an orc. It is seven goblins that nobody had the heart to kill. You're almost dead, bitch! Oh, you're getting angry now! She's angry. She's so, angry. So what happens if you kill one of these goblins? They cry. Uh, what if, if you lose, if you, as that character, lose hit points, uh, you just lose a goblin. Look, guys, speaking of goblin murder, yay! Woo! Keep I can't believe you killed dong, your wife. The bitch is dead. Ding dong, the witch is dead. Like, now it's decided. Shut up, John. So it is. I will the be on top tonight. I mean, what? From your eyes. Huh? Nothing? I'm sorry? Nothing. Pardon? Bayonetta. Sorry, what? Okay, <laughs> what the fuck came out of your goddamn mouth? Bayonetta's going to be on top tonight <laughs> of the bunk bed. I love that her glasses are just now, perfectly perched. Yeah, they're never perfectly <laughs> like, perched. I've never had my glasses perfectly perched. Sooner or later, they're going to fall on my face and I'm going to go, ow. That is why you possess the most beloved of Umbran treasures. Of, no, no, we're not going to make sex jokes right now during the beautiful love confession during the death. Titties. We fought for this stone. We fought for a rock, of people. It, everyone died. Rocks. The reason for everything. That gem brings back so many memories. I mean, I so her. many memories. Remember our first date, darling. <laughs> Remember our first makeout out of the moon. Remember our first spat, darling. I will not stand for the wild ambition of a treacherous lumen sage. Love the Leia bun. I love them. Your path also, they're covered in chains, so you could use them for great headbutts. They are their best friends, roommates, anything but lovers. But lovers. History hates lovers. Do not fear your fate. Stand, Teresa. 
Oh my god. Zoreza. The innocence of our childhood. We thought we could own a house at age 30. To play together. <laughs> Have a marmalade farm. Ew. Marmalade! Marmalade! Why marmalade? My eyes were clouded with it was marmalade. We were. We're gonna run a bed and breakfast together. Fear and own fate. three corgis. Stand, Seresa. Stand and open your eyes. So, so no, no, no on the corgis? Truth. Yes on the corgis? Are we anti-corgi? We pro-corgi? What are we on the corgi department? Bitch! Oh. Well, I said, well, she's dead. My girlfriend's dead, everybody. Oh no, she's dead. Even though she's in the sequel, and the other sequel, and the prequel. Hi, Luca, go away. Captain No Touch, go away. I'm stealing your boots and you are leaving. Is it over? Captain Bad Touch. I'm stealing his boots. Show off all your feet. How fucking dare you? What? Ah. Fib, I'm gonna shave your tail when you're asleep. Or to take you to Vegas for good luck, Cheshire. Give me more credit than that. If you must know where L U K A Luca is concerned, gonna go no go around looking like fucking Professor Radigan. <laughs> Again, I'm stealing his fucking boots. I want his fucking boots. I don't know why, but I want his boots. Oh, that's adorable. You didn't expect me to trust bitches. I thank you. Why my thing? It's your fucking stream. You, you think that Fibnak donor gifted streamer. a tier one subscription to username? Thank you, Fibnak, for gifting uh, uh for giving uh, Azatov the Fallen a gifted sub. Their blanket has been upgraded from cotton to flannel. Anyway, back to the cutscene with Captain Bad Touch. I want a lollipop. Lollipop, a lollipop, oh, lolly, 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 lolly. I don't play Lollipop Chainsaw Great. now. Oh, do I? Huh? You'll have to learn to wipe that. Oh, right in time for an ad. Or I'll never let you keep chasing me around this world. Got that? Oh, will you two just. Oh, wait, they do end up together. <laughs> just fuck That's already. I, I'm sorry, I have more already. belief. Already. I'm sorry. I have more belief that Jean and Bayonetta were lovers than you and Luca will be lovers. I died so much. I died so much. I died so much. I I need a hug. It must be nice. It must be nice. We finally finished Isle de la Sol. <laughs> 